Hi again, everyone. Welcome to The Paul Chandler Show. I'm your host, Paul Chandler. In tonight's episode, we're going to learn about modifiers 51 and 59. Because in CPT coding, these two modifiers, they mean different things, but they sometimes often get mixed up. So modifier 51 for multiple procedures and modifier 59 for distinct procedural service. So in tonight's episode, we're going to learn how to distinguish between modifier 51 and modifier 59 and how to use them appropriately. Welcome back everyone. So tonight we're gonna to learn about modifier 51 and modifier 59. And since every computer program is different, how I'll be describing it on the board will be, I'll do a hyphen and then 51 and then a hyphen and 59. So that I'll use to be able to put the procedure code in front of it, a hyphen and then the number after it will represent modifier 51 or modifier 59. Now one problem that coders often have is modifier 51, multiple procedures, and modifier 59, distinct procedural service. I don't like how that is called, because modifier 59, think of it as instead distinctly different. Because with 59, distinct procedural service, it's like, okay, uh, like, okay, yeah, I get what the words mean, but eh, what do they actually mean? So think of instead of 59, representing distinct procedural service, think of it again as distinctly different, meaning you're doing two different procedure codes, but if you look at the codes, maybe because they don't state the location in them or the depth of the size or whatnot, that if you just put the two codes with modifier 51 for multiple procedures, it's hard to distinguish between, do we do two different procedures during this operation or do we do one procedure and we're trying to unbundle it? And that's not good. So with unbundling, that is when you take one procedure that you did, split it into two different CPT codes so that we get paid more money. Depending on if you do it intentionally or unintentionally, fraud or abuse, either way, it's still not good. So with modifier 51, multiple procedures, that modifier is supposed to be on the second CPT code and anyone after the first one when you're doing multiple procedures during an operation that we're coding. But and sometimes though modifier 51 can change into a modifier 59, distinct procedural service, when we have to be able to distinguish that these procedures that we did are distinctly different. So let's say for example, that we did debridements. So we've already done an educational video before on an episode on debridements for the different codes, but now we're distinguishing them more between modifier 51 and 59. So let's say if we have two debridements that we did. So with the different levels of the skin, we have the epidermis, we have the dermis, subcutaneous tissue, and then under the, the layers of skin, then we have muscle and we have bone. Let's say that we did two different debridements, and let's say one went down to the muscle area, and let's say another one's going down to the bone. So we have a debridement down to the muscle, and a debridement down to the bone. And the code separately, we have 11, 0, 43 for going down to the muscle, and 11, 0, 44 for going down to the bone. Now with these two procedure codes, the code 11043 says that it's debridement, including from down to the muscle layer, but includes the epidermis, dermis, and sabotage tissue it performed. So it includes everything from the muscle layer on up. The bone, a little bit different, 11044 includes going down to the bone, but includes everything above it as well. The epidermis, dermis, sabotage tissue, and the muscle. So let's say if you have two different locations, one for the muscle and one for the bone. As far as coding it, if I were just to do the codes 11044, comma 11043, because we always want to put the more comprehensive procedure code first, because most insurance carriers will pay the first code at 100% and the second code and anything after, they generally get about a 50% deduction. So no matter what procedures we're doing, we'll always want to put the more comprehensive code first. So 
boom, deeper down, so that would be more comprehensive than just going down to the muscle layer. So with the two separate coats here, 11044 to rhyme it down to the bone, and 11043 to rhyme it down to the muscle, if we were to put modifier 51 instead at the end for multiple procedures, which technically would be correct, because we're doing more than one procedure, we have two going on. However, though, with modifier 51 for multiple procedures, just looking at the CPT codes, there's no locations built into the, the descriptions. And not other different locations, but there's not a description that says, for example, this is the first debridement, this is the second debridement. So, if we were to look at 11044, comma 11043, it'd be difficult to tell that are these two different debridements, where, let's say, bone left shoulder, and let's say the muscle of the right shoulder even, are these two separate locations? Or did I do one location, but I'm trying to unbundle it? And by that meaning, say that we divide it down to the bone, and let's say the doctor then used a certain tool to divide down the bone layer, then the doctor switched tools out to be able to divide the muscle and the skin. So then because the doctor switched tools, then we're gonna code 11043, because we do the muscle layers on up. So that's what we call unbundling, where if the doctor just did one debridement all the way down to the bone, we only code 11044. But with the two, one, mus one bone, one muscle, 11044, 11043, again, we cannot tell by these two different locations as far as where that in the body with these two codes. Is it one procedure that we did? We're unbundling into two separate codes to get paid more money, or are these two separate locations? that we did on the body. So instead of modifier 51, we would use modifier 59 for distinct procedural service. So again, how I said earlier, that modifier 59, distinct procedural service, think of that as distinctly different. Because with that mindset, that tells us that this location down debriding to the bone is a distinctly different location than this debridement down to the muscle, so pay me for both. Because the insurance carriers, they simply just get procedure codes and diagnosis codes on the claim form. But with showing modifier 59, just looking at the codes and I would tell these two different locations, but by putting modifier 59, it distinguishes so that this location down to the bone, distinctly different location than this for the muscle. So we would use modifier 51 with multiple procedures not on the first CPT code, but number two through whatever we have, just as long as it's not an add-on code. But if we use modifier 51 for multiple procedures, when there's clear definitions in the code descriptions, yet yeah, these are two different items, uh, different locations, for example. But whenever we have two or more procedures that we're doing, if we're unable to tell based on the descriptions, are these one location that we're doing, and we're trying to unbundle it, you know, get paid more money, or are they two separate locations not able to tell, then the modifier 51 would change to a modifier 59 instead. We would not need to code both, just one or the other. So modifier 59, just doing procedural service. Again, think of that as distinctly different. So we would choose modifier 59 if we have to distinguish that these two CPT codes are distinctly different procedures. It did two different things here, so pay me for both. So thank you for watching this episode of The Paul Chandler Show. We talked about modifier 51, multiple procedures, and modifier 59, distinct procedural service. Have an awesome rest of your night. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's so easy, it's right there. A little button, just push it, subscribe. I got all night, nothing else to do, just subscribe. <laughs>